Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Now get ready because we've got some really interesting subjects on today's show, all of them to make your home and living space a better place to be. Now let's see, we're going to get environmentally friendly. We have a segment that deals with just that. We're going to look at some bathroom remodeling and something I always enjoy, a cool gadget to make our <laughs> lives easier. Plus, we've got some other surprises. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Well, you know, decking materials have entered the 21st century and new innovative materials last longer and make deck maintenance much easier to deal with. Julie Finneran reports. One of the most popular backyard projects is the addition of a wood deck. It conjures up images of lazy weekend afternoons spent with family and friends, sipping on cool drinks and gathering around the barbecue, waiting for rustic flavored delights to come hot off the grill. Having a deck can be a bonus to your lifestyle but it comes at a price. Wood decks need maintenance. So, Designing Spaces met with Dick Gossier of Latitude's Decking and Railing Systems. Dick, it's so nice to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. So, tell us, what's involved in maintaining a wood deck? Well, wood decks are beautiful uh, the day you put them down, but over the years, they do require a lot of maintenance. The problem with wood is it takes on moisture, and then it gives off moisture. And this cycle causes the wood to change. When it rains, uh, the moisture goes deep into the wood, and when the sun comes out, it evaporates off the surface of the wood, but more importantly, the moisture inside the wood comes out as well. When that happens, wood shrinks mm -hmm. and it swells. Sounds like a mess. It is. The cycles of the weather are the things that really affect what happens to the wood deck surface. Uh, and the shrinking and swelling will cause the wood to either crack or warp or separate, and that really affects the aesthetics of the surface of the deck. This beautiful deck that we see here requires much less maintenance. Why is that? Well, this is not wood. This is a wood plastic composite. It's made with uh, recycled wood fiber and plastic resins. So what you have here is a wood that, or is a deck that will not take on moisture. Uh, it will not That's absorb good. water. It will not give off water. So it will not shrink or swell. And when that doesn't happen, you don't have to apply any water repellent through the years. Um, this deck will also maintain its color through the years, so you won't have to stain it. So Mike, tell us, why did you decide on a Latitudes deck? Well, Julie, it was an easy decision. We bought the house about six years ago, and it had a traditional wooden deck that was beautiful, but over the years, the deck began to warp and splinter, the nails began to pop, the kids started running in the house with uh, bruised up toes, and my wife and I decided to look into a composite deck. Uh, we looked at a couple different options. We decided on the Latitudes. I think the uh, the color schemes, the accessories that were available uh, was really helped us make that decision, and uh, I think it was one of the best decisions we've made. And for the deck builder, there are a few unique beneficial features to working with composite. Rich, first of all, you did a beautiful job building this deck. Thank you very much. Tell us, from a contractor's perspective, what is it that you like about working with the Latitudes deck? Well, what I like most about it is the versatility and the similarities to wood. Um, with the Equator Hidden Fastening System, it is very quick and easy to install. With their railing systems that they have, they, the railings go together quick and easy. There's a lot of versatility on style for customers, mm -hmm. uh, along with the colors and stuff like that. They can usually, they can match and accent their home with the unique systems that they have. Several years ago, composite decking came out as a low maintenance option to wood, and it's really been gaining acceptance with consumers ever since. Latitude's decking and railing really adds some sizzle to the category. We offer a lot of design flexibility that a lot of other systems don't. For instance, we have five colors. I know you have redwood, cedar, walnut, and gray. We also have a, another color called sienna, which re resembles a tropical hardwood in sort of a weathered form. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes. I've also noticed that there's two different surfaces on the product. Tell me about that. Well, this is a reversible decking. On one surface is a wood grain. On the other surface is a brushed. You can put down either or depending on your style. But where Latitudes really gets exciting is with our railing options. You can choose a top and bottom rail that exactly matches the decking. It's made out of the same material and it's the same color. But then the balusters and the post caps 
come in a number of varieties. Okay, so for those of us who don't work in the industry, explain what a baluster is. A baluster is just the vertical member of the railing system. Okay. And it affords us some real design opportunities. You can choose from either uh, what we call our natural baluster, which exactly matches the decking. It's made of the same material and it's the same color. Mm -hmm. Or you can choose aluminum balusters, um, which afford you the ability to see through your railing a little bit more. It gives you a better view and it gives you a, a different material to add to your deck, which adds some nice variety. And those also come in a variety of colors. Also, uh, we offer a glass baluster. And now you can see right through your uh, railing Beautiful. system. Yes, it's a very nice option. Okay, what about post caps? You said that you also have a variety of options with those as well. Yes, you can choose a post cap that, once again, exactly matches your deck and the railing. It's made of the same material. But then you can also uh, choose a post cap that is made with decorative metal surface. It's a pyramid made mm -hmm. of either a stainless material or a copper material. And then we have glass on the top, which is nice as well. It's either a uh, like a jewelry tone glass, stained glass, and we even have handmade Tiffany post caps. Oh, beautiful. And the real exciting new feature this year is solar post caps. You simply just put it on top of the post. There's no wires. There's no plugging in. It soaks up the sun. It energizes it, and you turn it on at night, and it glows almost all night long. Our research has shown that women really make the majority of the design decisions when it comes to the home, especially the deck. And that's where uh, Latitudes comes in with all its design flexibility. We really try to appeal to the woman. Um, if you look at the outside of a house or the design of the house, the flexibility of the Latitude system means you can match our decking and our various railing systems with a st any style of house that you have, whether it's a traditional Victorian or a Cape Cod or a salt box, even a modern looking house with all of our colors and design flexibility, you can match up to just about any house. So if our audience wants more information on Latitude, where do they go? Latitudesdeck.com is our website. On the website, a consumer can find deck designs, a gallery with a lot of decks that have been done around the country, installation instructions, and more information about the product itself. I'd like to thank our special guests today, Dick Gauthier, Michael Curry, and Rich Dykhouse for being with us on the show. For Designing Spaces, I'm Julie Finneran. On today's show, we have seen some really interesting new concepts for our homes and personal spaces. We were busy. Let's see, we got bathtubs, light bulbs, mm -hmm. clean air, labor-saving devices, decking material. Just another day on the job here on Designing Spaces. Exactly, but we're out of time. But thank you so much for joining us today. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time on Designing Spaces.